then <coughs> of course uh, social media has also helped us you can't uh, leave it behind because mm -hmm. very many people are on social media at uh, like 70 percent of the time on social media so it uh, we opened uh, uh, a facebook page uh, instagram and then along the way there is a company called ebony marketing that came and now started handling they started handling our our social media services because they are doing all the the imaging now because uh, they have to say they tell oh, this photo is not good let's use this one because they know the clients you are serving might not be not to be not to be comfortable with the <laughs> there is a, a control you, you might have seen a, a certain photo is good but you know for them being the branding company now they have seen they have done their research they know this clientele will not be happy with this so let us use this so as we now those are the structures now they start coming in when you more people come on board okay yes five years down the road what are a couple of financial lessons that you've learned mm -hmm. Hey, a lot. <laughs> okay, a let's lot. look at the top three. <coughs> the top three. Yes. The first one, mm, money is, uh, is deceiving. You know, you might uh, hustle. Okay, there is some, some cost you have incurred before maybe you got a certain check. But when they write you the check, if you're as an entrepreneur, you start to be, you know, now have some dream. You start, you, you, you stop thinking of uh, the cost that you put in. Maybe you did some 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 marketing you did some fueling you repair the bike along the way you, so th those costs you forget when you get the fifty thousand you think and oh, now this, all of this is mine now you spend it instead now maybe you buy something that you are not you had not planned for thinking uh, next month is coming but next month you might find it will come but it will take some time you know if you are serving corporates they say ah oh, we, we have like 90, 90 days period of pay so they might you have provided the services but they have not paid and you are broke because you do not plan for the first check that came so you start uh, being being frustrated and that's how many businesses now you 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 leave it because you can't <coughs> you can't fuel the truck can't fuel the bike and the client want their services to they want your services they want you to transport their things you respect it they don't want you to tell them oh, i don't have fuel <laughs> give me an advance they want you to do the, the thing and maybe <coughs> And it looks so un unprofessional. Yeah, and so, yeah. so unprofessional when you are requesting for maybe 70% uh, early payment. I say no. You deliver. That's the terms of terms of agreement. You deliver. Return invoices. Send in your, 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 your invoices again. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have uh, that discipline, if you do not manage the first check very well, you, you dry up. The pipeline dries up and you end up, you, you, you are removed from the business. That's how you go down. So... That lesson, we shall uh, divide it into like, like this percentage to go back, this one to go back, 10% to appreciate myself, to also have maybe maybe coffee. Mm -hmm. And the presence of having coffee, you can meet a Michelle, okay. a new client, mm -hmm. <laughs> like that. All right. Yes. Uh, <coughs> you, you'll still give us the, the other two, 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 oh, uh, two lessons that you have learned uh, down the line, mm. financial lesson that it is. Uh, I'd like to find out. So product and services, uh, as it, there's a couple of, you know, pointers and uh, things that each and every company can probably copy mm -hmm. and just copy paste in their new company, you know, just stealing your idea and starting off mine probably even the same. Or even the fact that uh, that transport and logistic business uh, has been there for a while. What makes uh, executive quite different? Mm, you can say our, our, our story, our, the story behind it is the what it drives uh, maybe deliver man the story behind it you, you can maybe if you meet us now you can say ah this thing it's easy just uh, having uh, maybe a motorbike a truck then i'm good to go as, uh, but as you roll out you realize there is a you didn't you didn't have uh, you are not plan you had not planned for whatever you you might find in the market because there are a lot of surprises you you come across but if you have a uh, a big story behind it and the vision is so laid down that you can't you can't you can't give out you can't give up now because uh, if you have some let's say you are the, the 12 employees behind you if you yourself you start okay you can you can go but now when you look at uh, my maybe my rider here he has he is depending on this one before he now starts uh, looking for something else you start again 
it's uh, so hurting to see someone leave because you have failed you <laughs> as a CEO. So uh, sometimes that gives you the, the sleepless night to keep moving, not even for yourself, but for people who are behind you because they are really supporting. They are really supporting you, they are in the vision. Sometimes they believe in they the, in believe the business. In, and they, they, they are now pushing, hey man, let's go, let's do this. You see, it's, uh, it's the employees now proposing. Yeah. Let's do this, let's do this. Whatever you did here was wrong. So when you see someone tells that, you know, we have some who are, who are more learned than, than me myself. They have been in, in the corporate world, but they are, they are riders working with us or drivers. So when they say, they can tell you, this one did not work here, so don't go this way. Or maybe when in, in your decision making, you don't, don't, uh, don't bypass us. You, you, you allow us to, to help you. If you see this one is irrelevant, now you implement one. And I have seen, I have gained a lot of knowledge from them than from the, the, the consultation I get from outside. Because okay. for them, they know very well. Because they interact with the clients. They are well, so they, much engaged. so much engaged. Right. So sometimes as uh, people, as entrepreneurs, don't, uh, don't bypass your team. You work with them because they have a lot that you, you yourself, when you are, you are there, maybe may, may leading, there are some things you might not see. You are focused on, on may, maybe uh, uh, hitting the market, uh, expanding the market share, but there are some things you are, you are forgetting. So they tell you, hey, man, slow down, <laughs> let's do this. Slow down, let's do this. You have forgotten this. Don't do this, you go this other way. You, and uh, by doing that, you find it. Uh, it isn't the process. All right. What would be your <coughs> advice to someone who is probably starting off their business and they just feel like, you know, I'm the founder, I'm the CEO, I'm the leader. So I'm not taking up uh, any advices. You are my employees. You're just going to listen to my ideas and my, like, I'm just informing you guys. You're not having a, a, a sit down on this table. What would be your advice to that particular, uh, you know, mindset? Mm -hmm. mm. The first thing, uh, you cannot make it alone in any venture. Whatever, how, however much capital or money you have, mm -hmm. you cannot move alone. Because you, you brought in some people because you know there are some things you can't do. So if you have brought in someone who does this well, mm -hmm. let, them, let them lead. Let okay. them propose their, maybe you propose, but let them take the implementation so that they feel we are part of the bigger vision. And by doing that, no one... Even if uh, the company runs um, bankrupt, they will still be there and say, hey, let's push. Man. Because they, they feel have, part they of feel the company. part of it. Because if it failed, they have also failed <laughs> in a way. Yes. But if you are doing it alone, if it failed, say, ah, <laughs> so you fail, you will be stressed. So and, uh, it is important to involve mm -hmm, your employees. To involve them so that uh, they not, uh, no, if they see you taking the lead alone, running away with the whatever, whatever vision you have, and they start looking for options because they know mm. in one way or another because they have projected you mm -hmm. fail. So they start looking for options. By the time you fail, they have already moved to maybe your competitor. All right. Mm. Uh, I'd like to find out how are you guys doing uh, with COVID-19 and uh, how, you, how is the business keeping afloat during this time? Mm. Economical oh. hard times, <laughs> that is. Oh, thank you for that question. So, uh, in March, March, April, it was, uh, it was tough because uh, everyone was so cautious. Uh, when, when, when you meet someone, you just think of, uh, of, him, of him or her in terms of COVID. Mm -hmm. and you don't want to receive something because of COVID because it was, it was so... The, the, the way it was... Uh, uh, the, the results out there were so scaring that even here people were, were so scared. So uh, some corporates, our clients, I have seen them uh, scale down the businesses or working from home. They don't uh, they now they don't need, uh, deliver services because uh, most of the they have scaled down. They they started uh, maybe looking for something that they can reduce to reduce the cost because money is not coming in. So you have to also shorten. So they reduced uh, our services to maybe one or two parcels per day. Maybe someone was giving us ten. They now reduced to like one or two. So we had to now think. Option B, uh, of course, the online side, the e-commerce now side now rose up. So I had now to do our marketing towards the, the e-commerce merchants now, because for them, they were, they were doing, everyone was buying online, but no one was going to the office. So we now channeled our services to the merchants. 
the online merchant selling electronics, shoes, clothes, cosmetics, groceries. That's now we put our seventy percent energy there, and we saw that side now it, it rose and it covered mm -hmm. from the corporate side. Okay. Yeah. All right. And how, what are a couple of the guidelines that your company is taking to just ensure that uh, uh, there is no spread of COVID mm -hmm. uh, when it, when it comes to doing deliveries of parcels and also products, other products such as groceries. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Then, uh, if you look at uh, every rider has a, a courier box. In that courier box, we have a, a sanitizer, a hand sanitizer, even the a small one, but uh, we have every rider has it. So, and uh, of course, the mask is a basic. Everyone has a mask <laughs> because if you appear anywhere without a mask, they will say you are, you, are, you are negative. So, we have encouraged every rider has a, their mask first, then the the sanitizer before they deliver a package or before they receive they sanitize first then they receive it and then at first we we used to like if I'd, i'm delivering to you just place it there then you i give you sanitizer you sanitize before you pick it we, we were doing that then uh, with the time so now because uh, with the mentality changing people now started being uh, flexible enough they can now as long as you have sanitized, you I can give it to you in the hand. Mm -hmm. And that's how we have been managing it. And we keep, uh, we tell our riders or drivers, if you are going to a place where we have a lot of crowding, you better wait outside first. Be, be late, but at least be safe. You wait outside first, let whatever are in, inside, let them be served, then take your turn. Okay. Yes. All right. What couple? What are a couple of uh, the challenges that you have faced while in this uh, transport and logistic business? <laughs> a lot, but the main ones mm -hmm. is uh, capital. Capital. Okay, we can say starting off you don't uh, need the capital much, but with the time when when a lot of orders start coming in, and your payments have not been done, you will need. Uh, you need the capital from somewhere, somewhere else. So mm -hmm. that's why we look for investors now. Mm -hmm. Even uh, with the Liverman, investors who came in are the one who helps us now, who helped us to, to scale up. Mm -hmm. So that's the first. Then the second, of course, uh, the breakages, you have to be, to be ready, because mm -hmm. breakages do happen. You can, uh, maybe you're delivering to Uganda, then uh, the truck spoils along the way where there is no, no mechanism. You have to have option B. That's a challenge, because uh, a client wants their package to, you promise to deliver. They have a specific hours. time frame. Mm, so mm -hmm. you have to deliver. You have to look for option B. Even if it's expensive, you are going out of budget, but you have to do it so mm -hmm. that uh, you, you you keep your name mm -hmm. and the brand. All right. A yes. couple of achievement stories that you have that you're very proud of looking back, or even recently, that, mm. that is. <laughs> the, 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 the most moment I feel proud is when uh, I, I, I receive a, a text message from one of uh, my team. He say, hey, man, I thank you very much. You gave me the opportunity. And through you, I have achieved this and this. Mm -hmm. Maybe I have not, uh, me, I have not won international recognition or Kenyan recognition. Yes. But you're receiving a text message from someone you are working with. Mm -hmm. They're appreciating. Like, uh, hey, thank you for the opportunity. You believed in me. And uh, the, through, the, through you, I have achieved this. It's so, so humbling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I feel very proud when I, I receive that. I feel it's an impact I'm now creating. Because, uh, okay, the vision was to, to create employment. And through that employment, someone's life has, has also been changed. changed. Mm, so I feel proud. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's, that's actually, uh, I would equally be proud. <laughs> yes. Thank you. All right. Looking back, do you regret mm. this particular role that you took when uh, you decided not to use your degree? <laughs> and start a business. No, I don't regret. That's why I have not even picked it until now. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll go pick it some, <laughs> sometime. Because I felt when I pick it, I might uh, become reluctant. Now that I have it, I can, when things become tough, can say, ah, let me now look for, for a job. Oh. No, that's why I said to leave it. So that even if they become tough, I'll not go to Eldoret and go collect it. So. <laughs> All right, so you're breaking away from the mentality of a backup plan. Exactly. Having a option B. You know, if you have option B, if you go through a document, you see the degree, you say, hi. You call. Of course, now I have uh, a lot of clientele who can employ me if I, if I wanted. If I call, I say, hey, things are tough. 
can you give me a job they will give but uh, uh, I, I i felt let it uh, let me not do that so whenever i have there are sometimes things become tough <laughs> until you start thinking hey, do i do i switch mm. but because of the team you have you can't switch how what will you tell them that uh, hey, uh, things are tough i'm um, going for employment you can't <laughs> now it's no longer you it's <laughs> no a whole longer. team it's behind team. you yeah do you wish that you have you should have, you could have probably started way earlier yeah, I wish I wish I could have done that but uh, also when I look at it there mm. are some lessons I might have bypassed mm. <laughs> for some, sometimes earlier so that's why I appreciate the 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 journey although I feel if I have if started earlier on I will be maybe far but maybe I'll not have learned some lessons that I have learned so far so I think I appreciate the the the, the short duration even if I have not done much achievement the lessons are worth it. Wow. Speaking yes. about lessons, you owe us. You mm. owe us two other <laughs> lessons, financial lessons that you have learned along the mm. uh, along the road. That is approximately five years, mm. and this is the right opportunity to to give us to, those to give uh, to give us those two. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the second one. Mm -hmm. So I remember when uh, when, uh, when when we were, we were paid some a lot of money. Mm -hmm. There some can I say unexpected. You know you have done a service and uh, a client pays you. you no, know, maybe you, you did a, 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 your quotation, you are saying, ah, this one, they cannot, maybe they cannot uh, go past here. Then maybe quotation was 20,000 or 30, mm -hmm. and you said, okay, we'll pay you 50 as long as you deliver on time. Now, you know, you'll become so excited <laughs> with the 50 until now you start by passing the small, the, the small things that are, that you are you are supposed to deliver. You think you now think in terms of it's like your head is well. So oh, the you forget the, the nitty gritty is mm. the most important small mm. things. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So uh, that second lesson, don't be don't be swayed with the I can say it small money, you know, fifty thousand. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, to a starter, if you are given that you feel I ah, if you start uh, spinning your head, you start spinning, what can I do with this? Or if it's uh, like five hundred thousand, someone start thinking of buying a car now and, and maybe it's not uh, not relevant at that time so let uh, do not be confused or, or be excited with the, the the small money that comes in however maybe you might think it's big but that is just a small if someone can pay 500 there is someone who can pay 5 million somewhere mm -hmm. someone else can pay 500 million so let it be like a step you get 50 you set to maybe 100 Okay. The next, the next car and say this. Let's now, now push ourselves to a hundred. Oh, right. so you be yes. disciplined, and when mm. you get your first pay, just uh, uh, fuel it back to the business. Exactly. Okay. And raise the raise the goal now, so All that right. you, you you know you don't uh, start being uh, what do you comfortable. Say, comfortable with that. Yeah. You raise it so that you you, you have some more pressure mm -hmm. that will keep you now on toes. Yes. Yes. Our last uh, financial. Uh, uh, advice that you've learned in in, in the five business. years, yes, in the business. Mm, there is one. Uh, I had some investors who came in. And you know, with the with our African up, up, upbringing, if investors come in, you think in terms of money. Like, ah, oh, now, now I can I can relax <laughs> and eat, eat the money, okay. not realizing whatever money they are bringing. It's uh, it's not for you. It's for the business, for the business. growth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's uh, I I, I realize uh, that's where we make mistakes. Just you end up spending now the money that was supposed to maybe for marketing or hiring to yourself. You go buy new suits. Go buy new shoes. Car. Yeah, uh, car. You know, when they you meet in a body meeting, they ask you to account. You're <laughs> not able. You want to forge papers. So let us separate. Whatever, if it's an uh, investment money someone has given you, let it be for business. Okay. You don't uh, take even if it's uh, like uh, 1,000 to appreciate yourself. It's not for you. They do not bring you for, for evils. They brought for deliver man. So let it stay there. So it's uh, separate yourself from the company money. There's uh, another thing I have learned, the third one. Yeah, so the company exists on its own. Exactly. All right, and at, at what point is it the right time to take a loan? and uh, just uh, put it back to the business or just to propel the business. 
at what particular moment do does uh, you know as a founder or the leader do mm -hmm. you feel like it is now it is the time to actually take a loan oh, thank you as a brilliant question mm -hmm. now uh, you take a loan when uh, when you feel it's due like for example if uh, you have uh, a contract for five trucks going to to Uganda you know fueling alone will be like uh, like 20 like 30000 per truck and maybe you don't have money in the in the account you can now run to the bank and tell them listen i have this and i have to fuel these trucks go for one month so and uh, my budget is this one so whatever money they give you you know it's for fueling those trucks okay it's like you take a loan according to the need that has has a reason not uh, from your mind you feel like now i can qualify for a loan you can take and then misuse you take it when you have the need at hand mm -hmm. you have taken this one for fueling you put it into account for fueling even you can go take the those cards the, the fuel cards so that when you fuel you know by the time this 500000 is over the contract will have been finished now you wait for payment okay. that oh, will be easier oh, than right. taking the money as you wait for, <laughs> for what to do with it mm -hmm. you can't sit with the money in the in the pocket it will keep pushing you oh, spend give someone give someone this and you know the more you have in the pocket, the more you receive calls. Man, um, um, I have this and this. Send me some, some risk I return. And uh, the money you are sending, it's for business. Mm -hmm. And at the end, when you, uh, they want you to repay back, you don't have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, now the business goes down. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you for the three lessons, financial lessons. What, yeah. what do you see the company at? Uh, I don't want to give a time frame. I just want to see the vision. And maybe you can give us the time frame, maybe five, ten years. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll leave that into your hands. Thank you very much. We have a, <coughs> we have a, we have a, a five-year time frame, then the ten-year time frame. Mm -hmm. The five-year time frame was to, to be along with Eastern Africa. Mm -hmm. we, have, we are now in Uganda and Rwanda, we want to, to go to Ethiopia, we want to go to South and Sudan, we have offices all over. Then the 10 year frame we want to do to be the delivery platform all over Africa, not just a delivery company, but a platform. Someone can log in anywhere and, and request for, 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 for a transport service anywhere they are. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we want now to connect within that 10 year time from we want to move from africa to the global some to the global stage someone wants to ship from from canada we can do that we want to ship from anywhere in the world to your destination we want to do that we want to be the go-to company oh, wow. Brilliant. Yes. I like mm. the vision and uh, uh, we'll have you here a couple of years down the line to just have this conversation again and see how broader we have gotten and uh, uh, just reaching broader market spaces. Uh, this is the right time for you to give out your social media handles and how people can reach out to you and also how they can get uh, to get your services from the company and mm. any other information that, that you may have if you have new any, any new product coming up. Uh, this is the time to tell us more about that also. Thank you very much. Now we have a, we have a, a new product called uh, Deliverman Mutani. This one we are targeting online vendors who are selling, are selling let's say thrift mutumba bag, mutumba shoes, mutumba. We are selling something for 500, and you can't deliver in Kitengela with the 800. So we have we have a package you call it Deliverman Mutani, where we deliver with the 150 only, okay. 150 shillings. We collect the parcel together, then we deliver them to our a drop of shops in uh, in estates mm -hmm. so if you are selling online take charge of that and uh, and use that to grow your business what will someone who is selling online come mm. to delivery man mtani oh now uh, because wow. of the the pricing now okay. we have we are giving you a price that no one can beat mm -hmm. imagine delivering for 150 to to juja or or, uh, or kitengela what is because for express delivery, mm -hmm. going to Kitengela is not uh, less than 600. So imagine you have sold shoes, you have bought shoes online for 200. We have shoes uh, from the hawkers who are also selling online. Okay. They are selling good shoes, okay. 200 book. Now you are telling them you deliver with 800. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. So we have this package for you. you bring Does your package make sense? If you're yes. going to, for transportation, which is going for 100, 150 delivery charge yes it makes sense mm -hmm. because if you tell if uh, if you are, it's the client paying you now the the 
the, the purchase of the shoe. Yes. If I tell you we are delivering with 150, and you, when you try to mentally calculate the distance, you feel ah, that is a good package. Bring. <laughs> so we are targeting because we had a lot of clients now coming from this other side. So, oh, okay. My clients are not paying that. Whatever I'm selling is for this amount. So how can I pay this one? That's actually a very fair price, by the way. You can continue <laughs> giving out your uh, social media handles, please. Thank you very much. Then uh, we have a, a, a package, you call it rent a shelf. We realize most of our clients are these online ones they don't have they are operating from home they just post online but they don't have a fiscal location so if a client orders they have imagine they have to come from Ruaka to town to deliver and you know maybe for you you are working you are leaving work at four so by b before f by four the the your, your person has not delivered yet they are still in st stuck in traffic because they they come with the public vehicle so a client gives up and leaves it uh, for 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 people like uh, those merchants, mm -hmm. we have a package in town here at Ement House where you can you can drop the package at fifty bob only per day. Just drop it there. Then you tell your client go pick at Ement House at our shop. You, t you tell them we have a shop at Ement or at uh, this location. You go and pick it from there. So instead That's of totally you secured. instead of you waiting mm -hmm. or for 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 her coming to town and sitting waiting for you to finish work before you go pick. We have that solution for them. Okay. They can also keep their products there for an affordable amount per month. So instead of them coming from Ruaka, your client will just come and pick it from there, then they go. Then, uh, of course, now for those in warehousing and distribution across the country, we have uh, the trucks ready, we have pickups, we have vans, we have the transit goods. Our packages are really, really good. Call us. Uh, can I give the number? Yes, you can. Yes, you <laughs> can. Yeah, we have uh, our office line 0703828041. You call that number, you get a quotation for any package you want in uh, around uh, around East Africa. And then we on social media on Facebook, we have Deliverman app on Instagram Deliverman dot app. Then on Twitter Deliverman underscore app. Let us continue the conversation. Thank you very much for hosting. All right. Thank you very much, Evan, so full for creating time to be with us and just having this conversation on transport and logistics and just finding out more about delivery, man. Mm -hmm. And I hope we'll have this uh, conversation mm -hmm. more of it a uh, few years down the line and yes. we can have new features and just get to discuss more on that, right? Thank you very much, Michelle, for thank hosting you, Evans. Me and the opportunity. Yes, thank you very much. So, guys, thank back you. at home, that was uh, Evans Wafula, uh, who is the CEO of Delivery Man app, and uh, he gave out his social media handles and how you can reach out to the company and get more information. And if you have any question, you can equally reach out to them, and they will keep you up to date on new projects that they are coming up with and also their services. All you have to do is just follow them across all our social media handles. At Y254 Channel is where you can find us across all our social media platform at Michelle Ashira is where you can reach out to me for right now we're going for a short uh, break we'll be right back mm -hmm.